Welcome to another Realvolve training video. In this segment, we will cover the Workflow Editor basic description. In the Workflow area, on the left hand side is our Workflow list. When you select a workflow, it will show the basic description on the right hand side. Here you will find the title of the workflow itself, the Use With, which allows you to pick which area of the software the workflow will be used. This can be contact, property, or transaction. In the description field, you can enter detailed information about the workflow itself. This can be useful for new hires to better understand what the workflow does. The alternate workflow is used to start an alternate workflow in the event that this workflow is ended prematurely. This would be useful for lead generation workflows that can automatically start a new client workflow when the lead converts to a client and you stop this workflow. In the tag field, you can place any keyword assigned to this workflow. This can be used for searching to find this workflow in large lists. In the groups area, this allows you to set up activities that can be turned on or off quickly based off of specific criteria that you design. In a transaction workflow, you could set up a financing group, which is assigned to each of the activities that deal specifically with financing. If you get a cash buyer, those activities in the financing group would not be needed and can be quickly turned off and not used in the transaction itself. Once you make the changes to your workflow, click on the Update button to save all the changes.